Hi guys, welcome back to Auntie Coco's channel. So um, I used to do something here called Talking Nollywood. Like I say many times, this channel is actually about culture, food, and entertainment, film, all sorts of things. It's more personal than my, uh, my other channel, which is really just film. I used to do something here called Talking Nollywood every week where I'd either feature or do an interview with an actor or talk about a, a film that is out or review a film. But I've been really busy, you know, Selena and co and um, yeah and um, there's just been a whole lot happening but I have a bit of time now so we're back to talking about it. and today we're talking about Bimbo Ademoy her journey and how she came to be the star of um Selena I know it sounds of course I'm biased to to have done like a lot of stuff with I've done I've cooked with Bimbo I have um had an interview with her just some time ago I featured her as top five um breakout actresses like five or six seven years ago and I was right I was right um, yeah so I, I love Bimbo I think she's is, is really an amazing person and um beyond that she's very hard working she didn't come here to play she didn't come to be Oh, to be a star, she, she, she's not here for the fame. I mean, that's an addition, and I, I want to believe she's grateful for it. But she came to do the work. And I think that you can see that in her film. So I'll tell you how I first met Bimbo. So I was having an audition for over 40-year-olds. Over 40-year-olds. It was for a series that, interestingly, I have not yet made. Because I keep saying that, ah, this is my retirement plan, this is my retirement plan. And I feel like... Every time I want to make that series, I'm not so sure. And so I put it somewhere and like, it, it's not yet time. We're not ready. Hopefully soon. Yeah, so she somehow didn't read um, it properly. And so she turned up for the audition. And I was not going to see her. People who know me know that I don't have time for things like that. Like, why didn't you read it? So that my fault and all of that. But my um, PA, who's now my manager, Okama, said, Auntie, you have to see this girl. So I said, okay, no problem. And when she read for me, I thought, okay, okay, we found a star. So that's, that's, that's how it started. I didn't, um, we were about to make Desperate House Girls the series at that time. And I created a role for her because I thought, this girl is brilliant. Where have you been all my life? You know, and then we worked together for so many years. And of course, naturally, when I started to think about, um, Selena, it was her that I saw in the role immediately. So that's how Vimbo came to be. It's it's a very long journey. I say this to young actors, don't be in a hurry. You know, sometimes we we don't know that people are coming from somewhere. If I tell you my story as well, you'll be shocked, you know. It feels like, oh, you just met this person and you think that this is all there is about her. And see, it's not been an easy ride at all. So it does take a long time. For some other people, it, it doesn't take that long. You know, our, our parts are all different. But for some people, it's a very long race. But if you are talented and if you put in the work, I tell as many people as I can that you will succeed. Also, it's very important to tell yourself the truth. You know, if 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 um, you've been around for a long time and all they're giving you is two scenes and somebody's friend or come and, you know, die or something like that. You, it's, you probably need to start rethinking it and think it's been 10 years. I tell you why, because as you get older, the roles and the, even the, I'm looking tired now a lot, you know, I wasn't, um, before I could stand for a lot longer than I can stand now. So even generally what you can do as you get older starts to reduce. So you need to get as much as you can in the days of your youth. Don't chase that dream for 20 years old. But also do not say that I'm the one who said you shouldn't. You know, you, you just need to find the right balance as, um, what's that Lupita thing? All our dreams are valid, but at the same time, apply common sense. If it looks like this is not what it is that you're supposed to be doing, stop it. But if, if, um, if you're honest to yourself and you can see that, okay, I wasn't, um, this good last year, but it looks like I'm getting better. I'm getting more roles. I'm getting more jobs and all of that. Now you know that you're definitely on the right path. So shout out to my baby girl, Bimbo Ademaye. People say that um, um, when people say, oh, you did this for this actor. You made I'm very, very, and this is not even humility to say I didn't make any actor. People make themselves. The, um, I might, God might just have used me to make it happen sooner for them, but it would have happened. 
anyway. And this is not about trying to be humble. I'm not even humble. No, you guys, don't even worry about that. But it, it is just fact. Because I have given some other people lead roles, push them, and they have not blown. One, there's an element of luck. Secondly, it is hard work. It's a lot of hard work to be able. So the actor has to bring in a lot to be able. I, I, I only provide maybe 20, 30%. 70% is the actor. And um, so if you want to get into the film industry, the first step is to decide is to see it as a job. I get a lot of messages of, oh, this is my passion. You really, really think that I care about your passion? <sighs> it's work. You have to put in the hours and you have to understand that it is a process. I hope that with these few words of mine that have inspired you for the week, have a very, very lovely week.